Some men dream in broad daylight. They are called dreamers. Daydreaming has its advantages. It offers an escape from the boredom and the dullness of daily routine. School is the perfect place to dream during the day. Imagination then tries to assert itself against the regiment of routine. Night dreams are somehow the big brothers of daydreams. It is in them that imagination mingles with the fantastic. Night dreams are windows to other worlds, and through sleep we enter them. Considering that we sleep for more than a third of our lives, this alternative reality is no less important than our daydreams. We sometimes even see our dream world adventures filter into the next day, when we are back awake. Bad dreams may torment us all day, but also serve as triggers to remind us of how good we have it. The relief of knowing it was only a dream can be as rewarding as the good dreams which in themselves inspire, remind us of old friends, or even generate the seed of a new business idea. However, we do not dream during the whole sleep period, which is divided into three or six phases, lasting five to fifty minutes each. During the remainder of our sleep time, we also remain unconscious. In many ways, sleep is similar to a mini-death, where the outside world ceases to exist and our mind itself is rewarded with rest. We call these phases of dream sleep REM stage from rapid eye movements, during which the eyes and the closed eyelids perform fast movements. But dreams can also take place outside these REM phases. During those phases, we enter our deepest form of sleep, which are very difficult to wake from. Many sounds that can wake us up such as an alarm clock or a telephone call, are often imaginatively integrated into our dreams as our brains mixes the stimuli into a prop for the theater in our heads. All men dream, even if we rarely remember our dreams when we wake up, it is sure that we dreamed. We even know that evolved animals can also dream. Unfortunately, we do not know what the dreams are made of because they can't tell us. Presumably, the cat will enjoy dreaming of mice and rats. Dogs enjoy dreaming of a gigantic bone. The fact that we do not remember our dreams when we wake up might be a clue to understanding the function of dreams. Our bad experiences are repressed outside of our consciousness, and they come back into us in an encrypted form inside our dreams. This was discovered by Sigmund Freud 100 years ago. Added to this is the remnants of the day, in fact, representations and thoughts we have associated with the previous day. We even discovered that only scraps of information collected during the day are reworked and evolved in our dreams. Thus, 50% of our dreams are made from the previous day. Researchers still are not able to explain with the certainty how this mechanism can have a beneficial contribution. Dreams are inherently difficult to explore for researchers because, in essence, it is impossible to ask the dreamer what he is dreaming about when, when he wakes up, he forgot the main narrative. It would also appear that several brain areas do not communicate in the same way during a dream and during wakefulness. There are different triggers that come into play. It is assumed that the brain can rest biochemically during a dream. It seeks to discard insignificant impressions of the day who deserve to be forgotten. It is also possible that while we dream, some impressions are transferred from short-term memory to long-term memory. What they are stored. In doing so, these impressions are listed in all of our experiences. The dream would have a very important role in the formation of human memory. However, neurology
Geologists do not know how to explain how memory is formed and how its registration processes in our nerve cells. Chemistry of the brain is still a great mystery. Dreams are a factor not to be underestimated in terms of our mental health. If we prevented a man from dreaming over a long time, for example by waking him all the time at the beginning of his dream stage, he would then suffer serial psychological disorders. We can say we will forge a healthy habit of dreaming, whether that dream is beautiful or scary. In the word of dream, evil also has its share of good.